cherry or just somebody just pushed it. Oh, baby. It was mommy. It was mommy fault. What's up, good one season? What's up, good one season? We are back with another video. Back, back with another video. Obviously at a different location, but we're gonna get right to it. So obviously it's a special day. We're all wearing all white. In the comment section down below right now, we want y'all to try to guess what's going on today. Um, we are outside uh, of a very special place, somewhere that we like to spend a lot of time that we haven't gotten to this year because of COVID. So this is our first time as a family back in the house. Mm -hmm. And we want to bring y'all along for this special, special journey, this special, special video. So if you're new to this channel, I want y'all to go ahead and join the family right now. Stop playing, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, like and comment down below throughout this video. Let us know that y'all tuning in and that y'all are supporting. All right, so we finna head in and we're gonna get right to it. So we're gonna get the rundown, exactly what's going on, and then we'll get right to it. Come on. Let's go. Can't forget the mask. Let's go. Love, 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 love. Love chases fear away. Chases fear away. Yeah, it has to be love. Have y'all guessed where we are yet? If you haven't now, you'll see soon. All right, good evening. Hi. So now let me meet it. Let me meet everybody. Hi. So this I'm is the pastor. pastor. I, this I is my pastor. I have such a pastor hard time. rush. Okay. You got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just go on into the sanctuary. And uh, oh, see, I know what I know what that on. means. I know what that means. Come on. And this hey, thing, my mouth. <laughs> Mama messing with her feet. Go and see. Check this out. We're here this afternoon because sometimes when. We ask God for certain things, it seems as if God says no. And it's not that God says no, sometimes God just says not yet. Or God says instead. In your case, that was a not yet, and that was an instead. And when we thought that what we wanted was when we wanted it, God said, I want you to love something desperate enough to trust me. And so, we know about your trials. We know about your journey. What a journey, what a testimony. And it's amazing that mom and dad are both track stars. And you know sometimes getting to the finish line is important. But sometimes on the way to the finish line, you have certain obstacles, distractions, you pull grips, you have muscle aches. And it doesn't matter sometimes how you get there. Sometimes you just finish. We're here today because as you have started to run your race, there are a lot of times when you thought, God, do we quit? And God said, not yet. You say, God, we want this and we want this right now. God says, I'm not going to tell you no. But I'm going to tell you instead. We're going to offer God's blessings over little Murray Goodman. Today is a very unique day because Murray's grandmother, Murray's great-grandmother, his family, his mother, or his devoted father are here to just say, God, thank you for blessing us. And that's what we want to do today. Marie, we thank God for your life. We thank God for your destiny. We thank God for your future. But you guys will hold hands, a sign and symbol of unity. Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity that we have been given to just say two words, thank you. 
Lord, we know that this baby is going to go forth. She's going to have her own life. She's going to make her own decisions. But we pray your peace, power, and comfort and guidance over her life. We thank you for every gift, every accomplishment, every ability, every talent that you poured into her. Most of all, God, we thank you for this mom and dad who have already proven to her and this entire nation that we don't quit. In the midst of criticism, faults, failures, sometimes people said it would not be, it could not be, and even it should not be. But God, you said yes, and you said instead. So instead of us being in a place where we're mourning, we're here in a place of happiness. Instead of us being in a place of sadness, we're in a place of joy. Instead of us being angry, we're in a place of gratitude. And instead of her being silent, Lord, we thank you for her just being able to make a joyful noise. And we take every one of those cries as a good sign. She's got strong love. She can hear, she can move, she can feel, and we're grateful. Lord, we thank you for this cry today. And I thank you for this mom and this dad. And for the members of the Inspiring Body of Christ Church, half of our family, we thank you for this opportunity to say, God, we love you and we thank you for this instead blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So in the name of Jesus, we anoint you, Marae. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son and the Holy Spirit. And you, Dad, you're gonna need guidance. You're gonna need wisdom. Mom, you're gonna need strength. Today we cover all three of you in the precious blood of Jesus. And we thank you today for trusting God with your child. Thank you all so much. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest in the body with us from now and forevermore. Both of us can say amen. 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 It is done. It is finished. She is coming. God bless you. about people from any races, creeds, colors, people from all over come together like these fish. They go through a period of being quarantined, which means cleaned up, and then they're put on display. And the way we explain that here is when people come to church, you know, they may be any kind of way at all. We don't really care. God cleans us up, and then we go on display. Probably get more into it. This is the University wow. of Dream School, funded by Pastor Rush and the church. And this, oh, this is where our kids go to school and get great education. It's a private school, um, and we'll give y'all a tour of this also. But it's just something that uh, Pastor Rush. This is his way of giving back to the communities, and so I invest time, uh, financial, whatever I need to do to come up here and, and help this this school grow and help this this uh, fellowship grow. Uh, my nephew goes here, one of my nephews, and hopefully a few of my other nephews and nieces will be able to come here. This is another nephew of mine, my pastor's son. He's a member of the school also, obviously, and um, so they'll probably be giving us most of the tour, but um, hey, I want y'all go ahead and like and comment down below, subscribe right now if you haven't already, and enjoy this tour. Let's go. This is a dream center. This is where kids come, and the purpose of this is so they can have, you know, in college, everything about this is like university. So we got university, right? So here's the, the, the student union. Room. So hold up, hold up. Tell, tell Goodwin season what what all these tables are doing out here. Why we have voting stands? Tell them what happened. You can. So from a, we want to do like a little voting thing for kids to um. 
feel like they're voting. So that's why we set up this and we had a little paper and it said, write an X next to who you vote for. And that's crazy. That's another great thing about this church and this university is pouring into these kids and just giving them not only the word, but giving them education. Who learned how to vote? How old are you, Katie? Eight. At eight years old, did you know how to vote? Were you, were you getting educated on how to vote? Oh, it was five-year, uh, five-year-olds. Uh, K four came, K five, K four and older. Mm. We're voting, and we had. I think it's yeah, here it is. It said write an X to who you vote for. It said write an X to the square, the candidate name. Hold it up so they ain't want <laughs> This is the little paper we oh, had a pencil on. and we you wrote an X. Whoa, oh, you got we wrote part. an X who we voted for, whoever we voted for. And everybody had theirs. Each class went so we all saw And this is this is all for the youth. So imagine coming to not only a church, a ministry, but have an opportunity to have your kids be brought up in an environment like this. What happened today? Did any of y'all guess it right? Did y'all say that we were at a church or that Marae was getting christened? Which one? Which one? Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, we appreciate y'all tuning in. We appreciate all the love and support as always. Y'all, it's been a long day today. We got our baby, gave her back to the Lord. God has blessed us yes. through so many things, so many situations and you know, we just kept our faith and just leaned on him and we got the beautiful blessing of Marae. So it's imperative that we come back to church and give her back to God. Finally. November 3rd is a special November day. November 3rd, November is a special day. I mean, a special month, period. Yep. That's why we got the all white All on. white on, all white November. If you guys don't know, you know we'll, we'll, know. we'll explain in the, the next video what the all white means. So y'all stay tuned for that video. If you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you are already, you know, subscribe, turn on the notification. Turn them on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like and comment down below. And y'all already know what time it is, baby. It's good when season time. Okay. Let's go. Peace. We out. All right, y'all. So, just want to give a few words about my pastor. Come on, Kata. His grandpa who's been in my life since forever, since I was about his age. I became a member of this church back in 2001 when we moved to Dallas. Yeah, it's been a long time, hasn't it? And yeah. I've been on your mama a while. But uh, obviously, not biologically my nephew, but inherited through church and just through being family. Uh, good friends with his sister and just growing up in the church. But um, Pastor Rush has been more than useful in my life, more than helpful, I should say, in my life. Um, ever since I was little, we came here, um, we would be putting binds in certain situations and the church would help fund us to help um, keep our lights on in the house, you know what I'm saying? So uh, just giving back to communities, that's why it's, you know, I had to come up here and show the love, come and see Pastor Rush. Uh, Pastor Rush also uh, was the reason that I was a part of the, he was part of the reason that I was world junior champion. Long jump and four by one uh, in 2008. Also, again, the church helped fund for me to go participate at uh, Junior Nationals, which would eventually help me get to the next level and compete for the U.S. in the World Junior Championships in Poland in 2008. Came home with two gold medals, and uh, so 
thank you for that, Pastor Rush. And lastly, not but not least, Pastor Rush was able to marry my wife and I. And y'all know Morgan. Y'all love her dearly. Because y'all been on my head ever since I pranked her. But I haven't seen nobody talk about her pranking me. I'm still sad. But anyways, it's beside the point. That's not what this video is for. He married us back in 2012, my best friend, my soulmate, somebody I get to spend the rest of my life with, and I got to share that moment with him. Um, and he did it, you know, with open arms and just willing, as he always does. And so I just want to send my love to him and just thank him for just always supporting us, the Goodwin family, and always being there for us. So um, we'll always be there for him. We'll always have his back. And hopefully all our kids can come through the University of Dreams because you can see a lot of big dreams are around here. And a lot of kids are fulfilling those dreams. So we wanna uh, keep, the, keep the process going, keep the family growing, and just keep on spreading love and positivity. And we thank y'all again for watching this video. Thank y'all for joining the channel. I know we've been saying we're gonna get things cracking, and get things rolling. It's definitely coming when it hit 100K. Don't worry, but hey, appreciate y'all. We signing out.